Hello everyone. So today I have a very special video where the goal is to take zero damage on the highest difficulty and across the obelisk, featuring GA as my co-op partner. GA is one of the best, if not the best, high score runners in the across the obelisk community, who has his own channel here, and a link in the description. When I talked about this challenge with him, he said this. The goal of this is to do a no damage run against Hydra, Dryad, and yeah. Dwarf face. So yeah, we plan to face three bosses who are always faster than the team, so we have to bring Heiner with max block charges to even stand a chance at taking no damage, because Heiner starts with block on the entire team and fortify. The rules for this run are simple. Across the obelisk tracks how much damage every character is taken. You can block damage, and that does not count as damage taken. So, by the end of our run, we need to make sure that every character has zero damage taken. And that's it! Simple, right? Our primary plan is to kill all enemies before they go on turn one, so we selected our other team members carefully. We have Andrin for speed control and deck manipulation, Nesglect for inspire, energize, bless, powerful, and further deck manipulation, and Cornelius. If you guessed Cornelius is our carry, guess again. That's right. Cornelius is here to provide Energize and Inspire with Scroll of Intellect, while occasionally adding burn charges to enemies to take the, make them less resistant to fire. Don't know why I'm tripping over my words there. That means our good friend Heiner is our carry. Heiner is the one carry I've never tried before, so a lot of this run is me being guided by GA on how to decimate enemy teams with Heiner. Which Heiner can actually do pretty well. That said, it's not all smooth sailing, and this took a lot of planning and effort to get out of Act 1. So without further ado, we can get into a slightly different format of video where I take turns commenting over gameplay while showing our commentary over some of the fights. I hope you enjoy this challenge and our suffering as much as I did while we try to answer the question, is it possible to beat across the obelisk's highest difficulty without taking damage? As you can see, we are going through the divinations right now. Uh, they've been playing in the background as I've been doing my intro spiel. You can take a look at our decks right now, though I will be showing off each deck uh, for every character. Feel free to pause when they come up. And now we're showing off our decks. I just want to preface this run by saying I'm going to be intermixing a lot of the commentary that GA made that I found fascinating as we discussed our card choices. And hopefully you're as interested in that as I am as we get our run started. All right, first fight. Easy fight. Well, we've got a fire-resistant champion, which is not the greatest. No, I know. It's, it's, uh... it's not actually the easiest fight, but it's not terrible. We don't have too many walls in our way. And it's not a burnt corn, so they don't have as good a fire resistance. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll start, we'll start with this. Mm -hmm. And we'll obviously trace ourselves. Uh, this already looks very nice. Yep. Uh, like this, I think. It's a good start. Yeah. I'll do this again. Now, our chances of uh, missing here are extremely low, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think. <Could> be. <laughs> <laughs> I could trace myself just to guarantee it, but uh, we can always restart the game. Yeah. Wow, my my server is, whatever server on is so slow. Oh, really? Um, hmm. Yeah. So this is fine. My... My actual game speed is extremely poor. Oh, crazy! It looks. Do you have a? Uh, do you have the gameplay set on fast mode? Uh, speed, yes, I am on fast mode. I can. I'll toggle it back on and off in case there's something weird in multiplayer. I feel pretty safe uh, doing this. Like this should be our standard. So yeah, we have three scries and three expected prophecies, and in general. Um, I like getting rid of detox and expected prophecy here because you're going to see what uh, I think get rid of clarity, detox, Wait, and one expected prophecy. What about the. Uh, what are we using to buffer the delay response? Banish. Oh, right, of course, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, get rid of a clarity. Get rid of one clarity. clarity as well. We, yeah, because yeah, we have four. Get rid of expected yeah. prophecy. We're, gonna mostly and just, we're mostly just going to scry ourselves. And we're going right. to uh, expected prophecy into a banish and a benediction. Yeah. And then uh, we should be golden. So I'm going right. to do this on Heiner. Yeah, Your cleave is probably not, not needed. War paint's not needed. You can probably ditch. Um... Actually, the rest of this is good, right? 
Yeah, I'm just trying to think uh, the fail rate. Um, because, so, yeah, I think if we're going to banish him, yeah, we, we obviously want to get rid of the Sunder armor. So that should be good. Yeah. That looks fantastic. Yeah, because we want 12 okay. cards in his deck, so. Okay, and this is oh, where we get our God. scroll of speed. Cornelius' extra scroll of intellect is so good. <laughs> yes, it's not the worst. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty damn good. <laughs> This is so, so crazy. What the fuck is this? Uh, oh, we even What's get to funny start is off we with, don't. Yeah, that Ember Storm. We sense. don't even need to. We don't even need to delay response uh, because Heine doesn't even need the energy. <laughs> it's so funny. Wait, the imp has uh, more than ninety-five percent fire resist. Huh. Huh. That is weird. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Just something I never noticed before. Uh. Okay. So we scry myself. Yeah, scry yourself. We're looking right. for banish. We're gonna get rid of uh, one scry, one clarity. Yep. Or, or even two clarities, to be honest. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah. We have everything we need. Yeah. So and expected yourself. Expected. Oh yeah. Put the expected back. Slow. Put the other expected. Put the expected we back. don't need that. We banish on Heiner, probably. Did I miss? Yeah. No, we we're get fine. rid of uh, one. We get rid of one punch, I think. Um, uh, to make sure that we hit all. Yeah, I right. think so. Yeah, Cause, cause yeah, because gonna... there's a chance we draw Sunder Armor instead. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So then we uh, inner fire. Inner fire on Heiner. Delay technically is fine. Either way works. Yeah. Delay. We benediction. I oh, yeah, got And clarity, and then we're done. Laggy, isn't it? <laughs> and then clarity. Yeah. And then and we done. better not have to go again. I'm double checking just in case. I'm like, is there a chance we don't take damage if we kill? If we we're don't, fine. we're okay. absolutely. All right, you believe? <laughs> yeah, this is not going to be close. <laughs> so we we'll start war obviously paint. with the war paint. Yep. Yeah. And then war paint, heat, heat laser. laser. Yeah. And then ground yeah. slam. So what's in the deck? Yeah, ground slam looks great. Ground slam. Um, I would bluff. Um, bluff I makes would, sense. Yeah, yeah. bluff. Because we want to discard the Sunder Armor to headbutt. Yes. So we headbutt the back boy. Uh, start with the headbutt on the back boy. Headbutt on the back boy. Yeah, because he's going to need a lot of damage on him. Okay. Yeah. And then now, we um, do... this is funny because. Oh, Sweeping Strike um, might kill the two? Yes. Sweeping Strike's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like that? And how much does bluff do? Ooh. Oh, yeah, bluff is nice. Is no, this is good. Bluff, and then punch the back boy down. Oh, right, 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 right. Actually, never mind. We're 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 really yeah, good. Yeah, we, we 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 have <laughs> way more damage than needed. Yeah. Oh yeah. There you the, go. the game speed. Up. <laughs> yeah, I feel the lag that you're talking about. Okay, we're good. First fight down. Easy, easy peasy. Here we don't really get any card rewards that we really want, so we skip. Uh, and this fight, yeah. this is the hardest fight in the game. So we're gonna have a real tough time with this one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if you couldn't tell by my tone, I'm completely joking. The Betty fight is no problem, so I'll be speeding through this fight just so we can get to the action faster. Uh, our card rewards here aren't anything too spectacular, so we don't take anything. On to the, the next fight. I'm really going to be skipping through a lot of these fights because a lot of them are fairly samey. Uh, once you've seen one, you've kind of seen them all, although I will highlight some of the more interesting fights as things go on. We do pick up Betty from the farmer, which is nice for experience, but it might be bad if we hit thorns at some point. So, could be a problem. Make our way into the hatch, and the pigs really aren't going to pose much of an issue, but I'll let ourselves talk to you about that. So, you know, it, uh, it obviously is a little bit samey. I do really yeah, enjoy the puzzle, the puzzle, the puzzle nature of it. Like, we, we want to get rid of clarity because we really we need a scry. Yeah. We're looking, we need an expected and a scry. Should be, should be safe. I'm almost even tempted to do uh, <laughs> get rid of another get rid of another clarity. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> it's true. We don't need all the clarities. You're fair. You're right. You're right. <laughs> all right. Oh, starting with that ember. I didn't know that was an innate card. Yeah, I know. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not more good here. It's, it's been pretty nice. Yeah. Oh, you have the wrong ember storm though. <laughs> Yes, I forgot to do that. So I, I figured we should nerf ourselves a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's only fair. We need to give them a chance. Uh, you know what's funny, too? 
is we could leave the front pig alive and we still wouldn't take damage. <laughs> that said, these pigs don't pose any issue. Heiner is pretty incredible. We have more than enough damage to take all these pigs out. So, yeah. See what I mean about Heine Carry? Like, <laughs> you know what? So, so good. He is so much overkill. You're right. <laughs> I, I don't think we need the. Um, don't need any of these. Don't think we need a fourth bus. expected. I'm not going to take this deflect. It's close, but I, I need to be able to dig myself. No, yeah. I don't need expected. Don't need. Uh, don't need head up. I think we're. Yeah. In, yeah, I think we're. Our deck's pretty fine. I'm. I'm. I don't even know what we would take. Here we have the heavily armaments fight, which we do try, but we... Yeah. I mean, the thing is, score is always important. Yeah. Oh! Oh no, the bleed, bleed. <laughs> Alright, right, right, back, back it off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, alright. <laughs> yeah, so we forgot that the squirrel was going to bleed super fast, so we uh, reset the fight, made sure we didn't do heavily armaments, and it was no problem after that. But we do get a card that poses an interesting question for us. The question is, is like a random card from Cornelius's deck better than an uproot, an AoE vulnerable? And I think the answer is no. Because this scroll of speed uh, is going to mean that we'll have two four, four fasts on Corndog. And therefore, I don't need to like find double chance on Andrew and I can get off an uproot. Oh, I see what instead. you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you're right then. Yeah. Um, does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it took me a second to follow the logic there, but that makes complete sense. Logic now followed. We actually don't want to take Cornelius' option because we want the fight, but... Yeah, so why don't we just try the top one? Top one? See if it fails? Fail, 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 fail. Fail, oh. <laughs> so, I mean, look, we still get the boon. We don't get the fight. Do you care? I don't care. I, I'm, yeah, I'm just get... here to make sure that we... Uh, don't do take damage. damage. Nonetheless, we get our level up here, which is pretty good for Night Terrors, and we have an interesting question as who the energy card goes to. So let's give it to Nez. Okay, yeah. Anyway, so that's where I, in my most recent run, I did give it to him, and I, it felt good. Um, yeah, no, I agree. I, obviously I could... Oftentimes the carry just doesn't need it. Hey, look at all these items. None of these items are particularly good for us, so we just get some money here, and we're going to be moving on to the next fight. We <laughs> Briefly, just consider Scrawler's Robe for the damage. And then it's time to fight the Cultist before Bellafor, but GA personally insults me. Did you say we picked Cleave for a reason? <laughs> I said we picked Cleave for a reason, yeah, oh it's this God. fight. It's, we're, we're teching, we're teching for this fight. Um, we don't need Detox, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is correct. It's uh, it's crazy the consistency, right, with this setup. Yeah, like, that's one of the... You would never think, uh, oh, this is a good setup, but this is a badass uh up. Yeah, it's so funny. Wait, don't we don't we take up roots though? Um. Oh shit. Yeah, you are correct. Well, that's why we have a scavenge. <laughs> uh -huh. And we fast forward a little bit in this fight. It's not too challenging. Uh, I just wanted to put that part in where GA said that I was correct because it made me feel good inside <laughs> and like I was a competent player. But yeah, card rewards. Unfortunately, not too interesting for us. We do end up trying to fight Bellafor here, which is a bit of a gamble, because Bellafor has a lot of HP for us to take out at this point in the game. And if he gets to summon his Imps, they're going to be going faster than us, meaning we will almost certainly take damage. So uh, we can walk through the fight a little bit. It looks the same as the other fights. Um, Nothing too special. We're getting rid of clarities, getting rid of detoxifies, using two scrolls of speed on Cornelius, three scrolls of intellect. Uh, same thing that's been happening every time. Nothing too good here. And I'm going to cut back to our commentary now. Oh, I'm going to put this expected back. Oh no. <laughs> no we got this. You know, it's funny. Like while we're playing, I'm still thinking of what I'm going to call this video. I'm like, hmm. Genius guides me through OTK. Uh, no, no, please do not say that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, oh, man. Uh, Scry first, right, Scry first, first, Scry first. first. Oh, oh, yeah. You almost got I like, me slipping. Oh, no, I, I do like punch, actually, because we just don't need AoE. So every punch here is going to be fantastic. We don't need cleave. We don't, we don't need... Cleave. need uh, we don't need something. Uh, I almost don't need sweeping... Yeah, punches are going to be really good. Yeah, so you've just um, got really good base damage, and we need something yeah. to spend our energy on. So. Yep. I arguably I could do keep sunder for the vulnerable, but. I uh, 
I think we'll be Yeah, fine. actually, it's not the worst. Sunders, yeah, that's yeah. not a bad idea, actually. Yeah. Maybe I, get rid of sweeping. Then we get rid of sweeping. Because we're not going to yeah. be able to afford it. Yeah. That's a good idea. I like it. Oh, my God. We actually made use of Sunder. <laughs> hey, Sunder has it. helped me with so it. many runs. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I, I think the Imp's probably going to be doing too much damage, but we'll find out. Yeah. And there's no there's no point tracing anything here, is there? Uh no. <laughs> um, because if if corn goes, we're we're dead. But even if corn doesn't go, I think the imp nope, fastest hero. Oh no. From here. Yeah, oh, oh, no. Oh, no. oh we took oh, we took no. one in the slow. Oh the imp's going <laughs> kill us. Okay, okay. Alright. Alright. We can't fight this guy. Yeah. We'll do, um... Oh. Hmm? Wild hunt. What do you think? Oh, actually, Wild Hunt could do it, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try again, shall we? Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do it, I believe. Uh, I'm going to restart the yeah, yeah. turn. I'm going to restart the fight. Uh, <laughs> come on. Let's fucking go. Come on, baby. Let's see it. All right, self. Oh, oh. no. Wait, why does it say Cornelius has taken 16 damage already? Why does it say that? I was looking at the combat stats. Damage taken. I have a theory. <laughs> What's the theory? Uh, the theory is like maybe damage stays after... Um... No, because then Heiner would have damage too. He'd have one damage. I was going to say a damage might stay after uh, re-rolling. After reloading the seed? N not after reloading the seed, but after doing a restart. Oh, after restarting a fight. Oh, I see. So... Which means that the only way to do it would be the hard saves reload. Why would it be? I don't know why it would do that. But we definitely haven't taken damage on anyone, so... I have video yeah. proof. If I okay. should still show zero. Combat stats, zero. Yep, now it's zero. So perfect. <laughs> Thank, okay. That's a great spot. Thank Oof. God you checked. Yep. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine if we've gone all so the way uh, all the way through and it said sixteen damage? <laughs> <laughs> I mean it probably would have um, racked up more than that throughout the fights that we had to restart. Yeah. So yeah. it's a good note. We have to hard restart with delete turn saves. Yeah. Okay. Wild, wild hunt was no go. It's not. This doesn't feel. It's in the wrong part of our deck. Yeah. If it had showed up earlier, it could have been fine. Yeah. I'm gonna ult f four outs and. Yeah. We'll, uh... We can just skip the fight. Darn. <laughs> Darn. But we All do right. corn corn dog here, right? Corn dog. Yeah. Corn we gotta dog. skip it. Hello, old friend. Yeah. We meet again. Thank you. <laughs> So after skipping the fight, we are going to go to the Eldritch Rift. Uh, there's nothing too crazy that we're looking for here. We do take Reactive Laser now in Heiner's deck because we want him to be dealing fire damage for some of these fights coming up. A lot of enemies are going to be less resistant to fire than they are to blunt. Uh, we don't get any cool card rewards from this fight, unfortunately. Outside of that upgraded transmission, it's actually not too bad. And a setup, but it's kind of risky to take a setup unupgraded at this point. Uh, GA still decides to go for it because it's well worth it for the cards. Uh, keep note of this shop. It ends up being very important later. Uh, as <laughs> uh, Yeah, I'll let it come up when it comes up. But yeah, we can take the gloves on Heiner for the extra powerful, but GA legitimately just says we need the gold. We can keep the war paint in deck, and that's totally fine. Uh, nothing else here really interests us. Doesn't up our damage. We aren't planning to recover health at any point, so... Health is kind of pointless. <laughs> These fights up ahead are fairly difficult. Uh, there's Armageddon, which I haven't explained up to this point, but GA has made it so that every single fight is, uh, that is a Corruptor has the extreme Corruptors on them. So I'll just be fast-forwarding these fights because they're things you've all seen before. We can see Heiner's endgame turn. Uh, doesn't take us much to get through without taking the Corruptor. Taking the Corruptor just ended up being impossible because they're too uh, resistant to all the damage that we had. 
Uh, unfortunately, any card wards there that were too good for us. Another Armageddon. So yeah, that fire and uh, blunt resistance is just a bit too challenging for us as much as we want that money. And boy, do we want it. So here we can skip ahead again to the end of the fight. I have to switch to the reactive laser at exactly this point, which is one of the interesting things about Heiner carry is you just you need to switch to fire damage every so often. Um, here we get a really interesting choice in terms of Rampage. Purple Rampage is a lot of base damage, and we transform that base damage to fire. So that will end up being good for us for a while, and we were kind of scared about the <laughs> Yelmer fight and the Dryad fight here. Unfortunately, as you can see, Andrin just took some damage, because I miscalculated this was completely my fault. Uh, Moonfire did 5 burn, and I wasn't calculating for it. But we were able to go back to the save just before we finished off the Rift uh, Beast, and we grabbed that Rift Shield on Heiner. Uh, his speed doesn't end up mattering for any of the other fights, but we do get plus two block charges. So here we are again at the Dryad fight with 24 block to start with, and yes, Andrew only goes down to one block, so yeah, feeling pretty good about that. Um, after that point, the Dryad was still not very easy, and uh, it took quite a bit of uh, finagling to get the deck order down. Andrin, of course, doesn't deal any damage himself, so him being here isn't going to cut it. And if Starfall goes off, we are going to take damage, especially Heiner, because Heiner's taking, like, all of the Starfall right now. So definitely just have to retry the fight, but we do eventually find the angle. Um, it just took... Took a little while. I'll let us go into how we found it in just a second here. Yeah. yeah Buff's always on the bottom so. still. We always <laughs> Thank you. I actually appreciate that. <laughs> um, okay. Heat laser I first. Didn't that. No, no. I, honestly, if you if you ever do that, I, I appreciate it. it. Just makes the finding the cards easier. It is heat laser first, like to, right? I don't, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I don't like to backseat drive. Uh, don't don't worry about it. I honestly, I'm I'm totally happy if you do. Uh, yeah. And we have to take ground uh, ground slam. Ground slam is correct. There is a really interesting uh, dynamic where yeah. ground slam cleave is almost like better than ground slam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in a uh, way. Do you thunder armor first here? Yeah. Do I thunder armor or do, yeah? We're not playing yeah. rampage, right? So. Yeah, thunder armor first. Thunder yeah. armor first. And, uh, then we draw. Then we, yeah, this, I, I, we already have this, the mask down. I don't have to worry yeah. about it. We have the extra punch now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That one extra punch was all I needed. Yeah. We're good. It's done. Hey, exactly. It is done. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking did it. Oh, round oh one. The, we got I'm the round okay, one. I'm saving, oh. I'm saving the game. Yeah, please. <laughs> As you can probably tell, we're very relieved to be done with that fight, and we're moving on to the next one. We do get a really good pickup here uh, from the Dryad. One, we want Forest Crown to make sure Andrin's always faster than anything coming up. And two, we want Dryad Mask on Heiner. It will now speed him back up now that we've used all the block charges. Uh, we briefly debated Helmet in case we needed the extra block for the Hydra or some other bosses coming up. So <laughs> that was always an option in our minds. But the Dryad Mask is going to give Heiner some damage every turn. Uh, it'll be more damage once both are converted to fire, because we do have some perks in that, of course. Another Armageddon comes up here, and unfortunately, again, we can't take it, so we just have to uh, move on without it. We get another Purple Rampage, which we can take and have even more damage on Heiner. Pretty good picks, honestly. Um, the Sunder Armor might have not have been too bad either, because we really just want to do that single target damage to Yelmer. Now, we do want to remove the Dryad here and get sort of 120 health. And yeah, Yelmer was a really tough fight for this act as well. Honestly, he put in a lot more work on us than I thought he was going to, but I'll let our past selves talk to you about that. Uh, not quite enough. Okay, not quite let's, enough see, um... let's see who he hits, yeah. Yeah, he's also going to reactive laser himself. Maybe. Oh yeah, we're, I'm taunting. Oh, so oh no, there's Heiner. bleed! Yeah, yeah, the problem is there's bleed. That's why uh, we have to kill him. Okay, so we have yeah. the reactive laser damage. Why did I get bleed? You have two buffer. Yeah. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Like, why am I bleeding? <laughs> huh. Yeah, there's two buffer. I was gonna say the other option is we have a uh, detox, right? So we, then we buffer Cornelius, um, and then he's good. But for some reason, I'm bleeding. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Okay, we'll reload the combat. Yeah, so I had the, just some... about 100 health remaining after hitting the reactive yeah. laser. There's definitely options here. The head up. And then uh, headbutt, discarding ground slam. Is it headbutt or sunder? <laughs> oh yeah, maybe... Well, let's check it. So 76. So 76. 76. So start with the sunder, maybe? So we start with Sunder, and then it goes to 80. 80! <laughs> yeah, so then we discard Ground Slam. Discard Ground Slam. We don't have any of our bluffs, which now, is now so Now paint. Now war paint. Now we war paint, yeah. I mean, um, we could so paint first, you could but... do you could do a Punch, Punch, and then Rampage, right? Because it um, his, his Night Terror doesn't um, pop until the end of the spell. Does that make sense? So we get two punches first. Oh, is that true? While his resistances are over there. I didn't realize. And then that. if you if you do that, so um, for, uh, oh. no, it does it does matter. Okay. It does pop. Okay. Yeah. It so if we'd had if I drawn bluffs there, we're a okay. And again, why am I bleeding? <laughs> it doesn't make any yes. sense. Like if if this Weird. if this didn't happen, we'd be fine. Okay, so there's another thing that I can do differently, which mm -hmm. is I played chant. I played chant a little bit too early. I uh, chanted prematurely. I can actually hold on to the chant. Maybe. I do like. I do like yeah. this, right? God, it'd be so nice if Hunter's Mark was on the on the top here. <laughs> Bear with me. I'm just gonna try a few different things. Yeah, for sure. I'm I'm down. There's also the world in which we expert tracker Cornelius instead, and then we uh, yeah. we give a scroll to Nesclect. Because <laughs> if we do the same turn on Heiner, we have the same energy usage, but Cornelius gets a better turn. And the better turn he will indeed get. I did speed up the footage here a little bit just so I could commentate over it instead of having us go through it kind of slowly, to be honest. So I uh, hope you don't mind. But yeah, we are trying to mark up Yelmer as much as possible. And then we're trying to make sure that we give Cornelius the draw from Expert Tracker so that we can gain a good amount of fire damage from Cornelius' deck. Because you know what? He has fire cards and... We just were missing out on about 100 damage that we needed to deal to Yelmer. So we can get rid of the Scrolls of Speed because we we're starting out faster. Very nice for us getting some of his fire cards in the deck. We want to keep all the Scrolls of Intellect, and then we're debating whether we keep Curse of Exhaustion, but we really wanted to find Ember Storm and Hellflame instead. We do get the Hellflame. We don't quite get the Ember Storm in place of the Fireball, which would have been perfect, but... Nonetheless, this is a much more damaging turn than anything we've had so far. The mark also helps quite a bit, even though all of the random mark went on Trenty, and now go back to the run. Um, so you're scrying yourself. But... Still scrying myself, of course. Okay. Yeah, we have to be have to much get rid of more everything. right? Yeah, apart from Benediction. Yeah. And just hope. <laughs> yeah, hope and pray. <laughs> yeah. um, I guess... Yeah, I guess, I need guess to draw. we can. We can always scroll. We me, can. But... We can banish uh, Heiner, and we can still try with this, right? He's gonna have full grip of ten. Yeah, we can do that. We we know for a fact that. Um, uh, I will. So we don't think I get rid of an uh, energy card here. Oh, what? Sorry. I get rid of an energy card here, right? What do you mean by that? Uh, like something at cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One line, something like that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that yes. looks good. Yeah, yeah, the problem is the bluffs are on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Why are the bluffs on the bottom? <laughs> why is why does the game want to taunt us like this? Yeah. All right. <sighs> so much damage. <laughs> we can also we can also take different things with Heiner. Uh, yeah. As well. 
So there's definitely a war paint. Definitely war yeah, paint. Oh wait, probably double. yeah, still war paint, and then heat laser. Yeah, heat laser does kill, which is nice. Then uh, Sunder is probably yeah, it's reactive, reactive, right? reactive yeah. Sunder. Yeah. yeah. Reactive. This is 82. Sunder. Goes to now, do we even 86. do we? Is is a headbutt more than? Why don't we? Um, yeah. Why don't we just rampage punch and then headbutt last? So rampage first. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Rampage yeah. first. Punch, punch. Punch. Oh, I think you're on to something. Oh my god. I think oh you're on to something. Punch, we actually punch. got it. We actually are fine. Yes. We don't even need the headbutt. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh, we did it. Oh gosh. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, Ooh. we got a bludgeon, so that's not, wor that's not the worst. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, do I'm we take this bludgeon? And to answer that, yes, we do take the bludgeon. We need the single target damage, and you can hear how relieved we were. That was a really tough fight. Getting out of Act 1, I want to say, took us about two hours. Uh, if not, like, slightly less or slightly more. I don't know. It's close to around that time. Um, but we got some good items. We get the armor here. Uh, the armor we can come back for if we really get desperate. We need those extra block charges. We get the Maga Staff for plus two fire damage on Heiner. And yeah, it's pretty good haul, but these next fights are no joke. So, um, Monty is a 24 base speed unit. Um, and he's the first oh my champion God. unit. And he's immune to crack. That's just great. He's a, yeah, he's immune to crack, though. We have Vertifier. <laughs> and then we have uh, Colin. He's 23 base speed, I believe. Oh, we have Stone the Colin staircase. right after the arena? Oh god. Yes. So um, we need speed. Well, here's a tech I like when I see that I get captivating voice on Andrin. Yeah. To slow slow them. So I think we have to do this. Um, god, I can't believe it's Monty and Colin. It had to be. Yeah. Had of course. Alright, and then hey, we have the two block charges. Yeah, that's a big deal. That's um, that's something that we we need, right? Like I have to take that. Yeah, we yeah, exactly. I mean, it's also just uh, fortify charges, so that's not bad. So we do make sure that we buy the stone amulet here. We are also going to pick up Rifty for more damage on Heiner. And I sadly don't have the footage of all of our decks that we had there, and I couldn't get back in uh, without a partner. I GA would have done it, I just didn't ask. Um, but you can see Nezglex and Heiner's deck, and honestly, you'll see the decks in the boss fights coming up, because I will show the entirety of the uh, important Dwarf Face boss fight anyway, and of Ignito. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, there's the free upgrade. <laughs> the hatch is but so we bad. Can't... So, oh. hear me out. Hear me out. The shards. <laughs> this is, I mean, if we can take this, we should. Hear me out. We have... We just saved the game. Yeah. Okay. We should absolutely try and, this. And as long as Andrin doesn't draw the hatch, uh, we can deck manipulate these bad boys. So we wanted to test our limits and take hatch here, see if we get away with it. But this fight is fairly difficult. So with hatch, we just don't have the card economy that we really need in order to deal as much damage as possible. And here's where we also finally figure out that I have been using the Fury uh perk which meant that i could get the bleed on heiner even though i have buffer because bleed can't be prevented by immunity or buffer so that was a fun revelation but this is us doing the fight without hatch we had to go into round two it would have been way easier if i didn't have that one perk that kept making me bleed with buffer uh this was a funny little moment we found shield breaker which we wanted to save money on uh, and maybe go back to town and not get. We also found another scavenge, which is good. We're not going to take that expected prophecy because we don't need it, but we also don't take the scavenge because we don't need it. Um, I talked about it for a bit, but yeah, unnecessary. We also don't need that purple bludgeon. It's not going to be too big of a deal for us. These heavenly armaments, however, uh, we did want to try, though this fight ended up being way harder than we thought. And... Yeah, part of the problem is we had to slow with Andrin, meaning that we couldn't actually use uh, Wild Hunt as much, or the Mark as much. Every time we tried something, we were coming up just shy of having enough damage to take out everybody. So we really had to buckle down and figure out a good turn order, which for whatever reason was just very challenging because we had to prioritize well.
Alright, we needed to kill the Lamia because they put a lot of mitigate and buffer on the entire enemy team. We need to kill the Lizard because they bled the entire team. And we needed to kill the Archer because they sped themselves up on round two and then did more damage than anyone had block on that round two. But we finally figured out a way around it, and this is that fight. Uh, I did say I was going to show off the more challenging fights and the boss fights in the run, and this was certainly one of them. Uh, we had to go back and forth for a while figuring out who was going to do what on each and every turn. We thought that we needed uh, Cornelius's fireball damage here to actually make um, something work here. We actually got the purple one too, which is nice. I don't think we needed that. Um, we also needed to focus down the Lamia again, so yeah, you can sort of see how our deck is working here. We want the uh, Nightmare on Lamia because they have the most health. We are getting rid of uh, Detoxifies and Fanaticism. No, we're keeping Fanaticism. Wait, no, we don't need the Fanaticism. <laughs> see, this run is kind of complicated, even though I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, it's actually very simple once you've been doing it a lot, um, but yeah. Nezgalic scries through his deck, expected prophecies through his deck, we get as many clarities as we need or delay responses as we need. We really wanted to keep Banish and Divine Power, and we wanted to scry Heiner first whenever we could, because if we scry him, we can get rid of some bad cards early on. We don't need the Sunder, we don't need the Cleave. Um, we do want to potentially keep the Sweeping Strike, but we opt to get rid of it in favor of getting rid of, uh, or going deeper into our deck. Shield Breaker is going to be useless until we get to the Dwarf Face, and then it's going to be amazing. Pummel only hits the front monster, because we couldn't afford to upgrade it, unfortunately. And we do get the 7 Powerful on Divine Power, which is really great, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that, but that's a tech that, uh... GA came up with by putting two powerful charges on Nesglect. You get up to seven, which is the max Heiner can have due to the powerful perk he's using. Uh, the Bludgeon does allow us to do quite a bit of damage to the Lamia, so I definitely don't go for that. I go for, um, or sorry, I definitely don't go for Pummel. I go for Bludgeon instead. I finally activate the Heat Damage because the Heat Damage does less to the Lamia but more to the Lizard. We get rid of both, and I did realize that Heiner was going to be able to survive uh the next turn if we slowed down the skeleton archer um which we managed to do so now he's not going before heiner on round two i say i met, i figured that out but no we both figured that out like <laughs> that was ga's plan all along so <laughs> um yeah the, we are able to keep wild hunt here we get up brute, but at this point the enemies don't really have enough health to uh subdue us we, however, do need to apply some mark with Wild Hunt, because if we don't, we're going to be dealing with a stealthy uh, Worm Boy, and that's going to be a problem. So we get our detection here, we get Uproot, and yeah, the, the hard fight that took us about an hour and a half to figure out is finally almost over. Um, Cornelius is almost going to be able to finish it himself, honestly. He does do a fair amount of damage. He's got the Fire Shield, he's got Fireball and Ember Storm. We no longer need the transmission. Heiner doesn't have a ton of energy, but he really doesn't need it. And I'm going to go back to ourselves because I want you to hear our sighs of relief as we get to the end and we know it. Fucking oh, nice. Hey, Good fucking hit. Fucking hell. Good oh, hit. my God, Bessie. <laughs> Oh, detox. Yeah, detox. <laughs> we oh, we even got uh, it. Uh, there's no scrying. There's, I don't there's, have we have literally nothing left. else. Yeah, no, yeah. I have no clarities left. Okay. Heiner, just, you got this. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what the f Oh, we did it. Oh, just checking. Yeah, no damage. Jeez. Oh, we did it. We did it. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh my god. <sighs> what an insane. At this point, there's not too much for us to worry about. Uh, we're going to level up after the arena fights. The arena fights themselves won't be too difficult. So I'm just going to show the highlights of those and the card rewards that we get. Um, Heiner does his thing. We get the good turn. Cleave is still useless. Uh, <laughs> that's, it was actually useful during the run, so I'm not going to bash it too bad. We get a repetition training here, which is actually really big. We get another delay response upgraded too, which saves us a good amount of energy, because now Cornelius doesn't need to get, have all of his uh, scrolls of intellect. The next fight wasn't too hard for us either. Uh, we could take a second pommel here. We actually do, because we want to have it instead of bludgeon later on. Andrin gets another Adrenaline, though how useful it is is kind of debatable. Uh, the bullfight 
isn't too much more difficult because we do get Wild Hunt, um, so we're able to mark him up to 15, which was pretty solid. Uh, honestly, pretty good luck there. We didn't have to slow him down, which is one of the big reasons why these fights were way easier. We only had to slow down the squirrel in the other fight, and like, yeah, <laughs> he had a lot of health and still died to reactive laser instead of anything else, but we didn't have to do any retries on this guy whatsoever, and we leveled up. Nezglik gets the resourceful perk, which means he gets refunded one energy for every one energy skill he plays. Heiner gets block every time he plays an attack and plus one fire damage. And then we get cocky. <laughs> All right, we we are definitely gonna try it. And right, we did. It did force us to go into round two, which made use of Heiner's reactive laser. Uh, very nice. These enemies were slow enough that we didn't have to worry about it too much. We'd find a really good Carnage here. Um, Carnage is going to be very useful because we can transform its damage into fire, and it's one of the most damaging for its cost cards in the game. Um, we also get our upgrade for completing that Corruptor, so we get an upgraded Divine Power, meaning any energy that Nezgla gets extra, which he gets a lot because of his level 3 uh, resourceful skill, um, can go straight into buffing up Heiner and giving him Bless. We also are cocky enough to take Sad here, and guess what? It wasn't too bad either. We still have to rely a little bit on reactive laser. Oh no, we don't. Oh my god, wow, we just barely scraped by doing that. Um, but reactive laser would have finished them nonetheless. We get another free uh, upgrade here, which we decide to upgrade Shield Breaker to, just to make it cost less. Uh, because we're going to need to play it during the Dwarf Face fight, and Heiner was running into some slight energy issues, potentially. Uh, here, feel free to play along, and you can maybe guess where the shards went to. We both actually saw where this one went, but I double-checked my video just in case, because we don't want to miss out on 1,500 golds and shards, and we also definitely don't want an injury in our decks, so yeah. Really big thing for us here. The fight afterwards, not too big of a deal, though Heiner does get a really big card. One in Inferiate, two he gets his second um, uh, heat laser, but it's improved heat laser, so it does double the damage. Uh, very, very strong. Inferiate we are going to be making use of later, because we're going to be trying to put as much Fury on Heiner as possible, which each stack will give him plus 5% damage, and we can get pretty high. We didn't know which option was going to be the best here, so we just went with Heiner's for more block, and now we fight the Dwarf Face. Yeah, we start with more block as well. We have 32 <clears throat> block. Yeah. Okay. So their reactive laser does 10. So three of them would hurt us. Three of them would... Um, it's enough. Okay. Oh, yeah. We don't have Self. the Asmodee pick. Ooh. ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Our brute's good. Our brute's good. We're, of course, always fast enough. <clears throat> then any mark that we can get and enchant and expert of course <laughs> yeah. we want to do this right we don't need chant oh yeah we do we, want it. we don't need chant no we don't need chant no you're right we're good we don't need chant at yeah. all oh my god <laughs> yeah. What um, am I thinking? So we also don't it? need, um, yeah, we don't need um, roll of speed on Cornelius. So I could have traced, I could in theory trace, uh, I don't have a skin other scavenger, I don't think. Yeah. Um, Uproot's probably better than, or do you think, do you like detection more? Uh, it really depends. How many? Let's look at the resistance. 60 fire, 46 blunt. Oh, so we get we keep uproot, right? Um, up, yeah, up they're just gonna do more. They have a lot. I think it'll do more. Well, it really depends on what the mark hits, but yeah. Yeah, I think so. Uproot's probably better. I could probably do that better, so figure that out later. Yeah, if we need to. to 55. Yeah. Still doing this on Nezglex, because there's actually a world where we we could do it on Corn Dog. Well, Corn Dog, he's not Kinda, really. He can't really attack, much. so. He does have replenishment. So if you <clears> could <throat> get um, replenishment, that is so much. That's a lot. 
So it says it's an option available to us. He also has transmission. That's true. So just something to think about. We can, we can. There are lots of options available. Okay. The, the nice thing is that when we give Nesglect energy now, it all comes back to Heine in the form of um, the, the form of uh, bless. Bless. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna get these out of the deck, right? So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good hit. Guys, okay, nice. It's obviously, night terrors, amazing. Yeah. Okay. So I scry. Let's see. We're still looking for banish and delay. So I scry, banish is there. Oh, okay. So they're both okay, on top. So we could probably we could probably save that scry. Yeah, we uh, could save that scry for Heiner if we need to. And then I'll scry Heiner now. We need pummel. Pummel's good. Yeah, we don't even need. Uh, we don't need we can use bluff. Generally. Bluff if we ever if we can uh, convert to. Uh, yeah, get rid of bluff. That's fine. Get rid of get rid of everything except uh, pummel, right? And just we have to dig for shield break. If we don't get shield break, we're fucked. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bet on this this punch thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then I expected. Put an expected back. I mean, I can expect it again, right? You can. The problem is, uh, if you're yeah. like, we could actually get more bless on Heino if we're not um, using his refund. Like, yeah, I have to do this though. Yeah. For the delay response. Um, and now yeah, I don't but, need the expected. Yeah, the expected back. Yeah. Okay. Fanaticism, Night Terror, Scry Heino again. As um. Night Terror on the big boy. Yep. That's a good chunk of resistance is down. Scry on Heiner. Heat laser's fine. It's a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah. All Bluff, right. um, it does. It does uh, proc the us, attacks, yeah. It does proc it procs the furnace. Um, but, but we need shield breaker, anything. right? We really do, so get rid of punch. Okay, fine. fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bank. Yeah. Yeah, okay. There's shield breaker. <laughs> it's there. Yeah. It so we don't need Sunder Armor. Um, we don't need Ground Slam. Do we, do we need Reactive Laser? Uh, to transform our damage to Fire? It doesn't do yeah. more, so probably not. Yeah. And you're sure that Ground Slam, the vulnerable, is not um, it's not worth the three. It's not worth three, right? So I don't gonna... think so. Yeah, this should be fine. This should be absolutely more than enough, I believe. Okay. Yeah, let's give it a go. And if it's not, we can yep. always redo. Looks great. Yeah, it's a pretty good turn. Yeah. Max charge. Get that 11 bless. 7 powerful. It's funny how this comp... I think this comp is actually even quite good in just conventional Madness 16. Okay, we, we, <laughs> we didn't uh, take our <laughs> hits. This is good. So yeah. we oh, do have improved bad. laser. Yeah, Fury 8's obviously terrible. Okay, so, so yeah, just start with shield, shield breaker, breaker. Remove 202 shield from him. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of uh, save damage there. And then bludge we go bludgeon. Although we heat laser, right? Heat, heat laser. Heat laser first, yeah. Yeah. Then Heat laser. And uh, then bludgeon. we bludgeon. Yeah. Pummel. This yeah, is, pummel, pummel. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. oh, it's so I easy. Crushed it. <laughs> oh, we're never a doubt in my mind. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. There are several doubts in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I still have many doubts. <laughs> <laughs> but not about that fight. We're good. Okay. For card rewards, we do take Book of Nightmares because we figure that's a really good damage card. Uh, we can put Book of Nightmares in Heiner's deck. It'll be transformed damage with Lava Axe. And that's really strong for us. The items here look really good as well. Handbook reduces the cost of a skill for Andrin, so it's one extra energy per turn. Chalice of Kings gives Nesglet one bless. I was really upset it doesn't work with uh, the overcharged bless. This is just the next card award. The other fights honestly aren't that interesting. They play out just like you saw before. Uh
this fight, however, we got a really fun Corruptor in Armaments, and we get a shop afterwards, so although our card rewards aren't too good, our shop probably... That's an upgraded stone amulet. Um, that is an upgraded stone amulet, which is plus two... Oh my god, that that's is a fountain pen. That is yeah. a fountain pen I know. on Cornelius. Yeah, that's a fountain pen on Cornelius. Um, that is... That's a, that's a purple fountain pen on Cornelius. <laughs> that is insane, right? Yeah, we also got Cloak of Speed, too. Our energy, our speed problem solved. We don't have a speed problem. I was an idiot. Oh. Then we don't have a speed because, Oh, right, because we have the purple Asmodee, right? Yeah, we're going to get the purple Asmodee. Um, so that, that, that was just me being a moron. Yeah, so purple uh, fountain stone, pen. <laughs> stone it's amulet. Sto is. Stone amulet we absolutely take, because that's another four to five yeah. charge. How much, how much gold do you have? Uh, 1,500. I have 1,700. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think we're we're looking really solid on a lot of our items here. Yeah. Okay. We keep moving. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is looking so good. That's such a clutch shop. Yeah. That's a that's an insane shop. Oh, that feels so good. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay. All right. All right. We'll do. Let, let's hear your plan. All right. Just double check the combat stats. Yeah, zero damage taken. Um, so the, the goal we have here is just to play detection as much as possible. So we need a scavenge, okay. ideally. Okay. So do you want me to keep expert tracker and, adre and adrenaline? The adrenaline, uh, I'm not sure about because we have the other adrenaline in the deck, but it really depends. If, we, if we're keeping the adrenaline, I feel like we also keep the setup in a weird way, so I'm not sure. I think that's probably fine. We can go with that for now. Might as well do this. Yeah. We do this. Then what? And then, then it's bad because we don't have yeah. So we have to get rid of that adrenaline. Okay. Then we wild hunt, presumably. Yeah. Uh, or, or, and, yeah. Uh, what I'm saying is we'll probably have to like get rid of the. Oh, tra I guess trace we can, myself. Yeah, trace yourself. Into another scavenge. Scavenge. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Yeah. That sounds right. Then scavenge uh, into. A um, setup, uh, and, tr and then we can scavenge back a um, adrenaline. Do we have the? No, I think we just detection twice, right? Okay, I had to hit him. So now he has twenty mark instead of ten. And we go, we do this again on Heiner to make sure that we dig far enough, or what would you like to do? Just keep Carnage and try and uh, Carnage it? We're just going to keep Carnage, so yeah, we don't have to worry about digging as much. Where, where should the expert tracker go? Probably on Cornelius. He can do a little bit more with it. And then I can Nightmare Book of Nightmares. That was a mistake. Right, yeah, then we can Book of Nightmares. Oh wait, we don't have Book of Nightmares. Oh yeah, we do. We have the draw, of course. I will. <laughs> I was like... Transmission was good. We have that. We have the full Inspire. We have so much extra Inspire. He applies Burn on hit. It's not terrible. Yep. There's a little bit of extra damage there. Come on, Bessie. Alrighty, and then, yeah, now we just do the same thing as usual. So we know yes, we have to yeah. scry because we yeah. get rid of these yeah. three players. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, then we expected. I was expecting we're putting this delay back. on top. Yeah, I feel like I, I have uh... this turned down. We fanaticism, it's fine either way. Scry ourselves, right? Scry ourselves again. Yeah. Go to the detoxify, go to that. Get rid of the detected, yeah. yeah. Yep. And then, and then we, we expected uh, one more time. Expected. Yep. 
get the energy, we put that clarity back on top, and then we scry. Yep, scry. And... You just want to keep all of it? Uh, I kind of want to keep all like? of it. I, I'll get rid of one punch. Okay. Looks great. I love it. Yeah. Nine energy. You're on nine energy. <laughs> We've played like our entire deck and we're on nine <laughs> energy. Yeah. And then we get rid of the Thunder's reactive. not bad, right? And also, Ground Slam Thunder's is not the good. worst. Uh, is Ground Slam Ground the, worst? Not the worst? But because we can do yeah. Carnage, Carnage. I guess we, we would not be able to play one Heat in that case, right? We would... Um, yeah, we Heat Laser Slam, doesn't matter that much, though. So we can actually get rid yeah. of that. It's Ground Slam. Yeah, that's 10 energy, right? Uh, yeah. This is 10 energy, so that's good. So we could have kept that one punch. Yeah, so one we can punch, keep that one punch if we want. If we need to, yeah. This okay. is good. Let's do that. We'll try that. Yeah, that's great. And then we'll do this. Do this. Max that out. Beautiful. There we go. And the turn. RNG's good. RNG's love good. It, love it, love it, love okay. it. All um, right. Improved to, to kick things off, right? Kill yeah, the improved. stupid thing. Yeah, it kills the thing. Yeah. So then, it's a good start. Then is it uh, Ground Slam Sunder or Sunder Ground Slam? <laughs> it's a really good question. I'm pretty sure it's Sunder Ground Slam. I like it. Um, I'm, down for it. I'm down for it. Yeah, Sunder. And then Ground Slam's just the extra vulnerability. Okay. I think, uh, I think that's worth it, right? Yeah. I think that's fine. Want to bluff uh, first, or do we want to Carnage first? Uh, probably Carnage first to make use of the extra damage. Okay. Okay. It's looking good. Yeah, and then we'll repetition training the Carnage. Good. I believe bluff. Bluff, plus hey, punch, hey, 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 punch. We fucking did it. Let's yeah. go, baby. Yeah. No, that that plus ten mark. <laughs> it's so big. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh my god, we're in Act Three. We did it. Yeah. No damage taken. Oh, we right? got our scorching ray. We got our scorching ray. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, it's not the worst. Let's put no. it that way. So nice. I'm just gonna save. I'm gonna save the game. We've done yeah. it. Uh, fuck me. <laughs> This this uh this has got to be up there as one of the most impressive things that anyone's ever done in the game. If we we, we, we obviously I think need so. to follow through. Yeah. We need to follow through with this and <laughs> But if we we can do this. It's... Uh yeah. Don't think we're taking anything on Nesquakt. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so, right? Um No. We just have to lean into the OTK style. Yeah, I think so. I have a very soft spot for Eternal uh, Lullaby after this recent video. It's so good. <laughs> uh, it's, the, it's, the only time, it's the only time I've ever used it. <laughs> Alright, and then maybe we get something extra good here? Who knows? Oh. Yeah. Well, so, this is interesting because no. Flail is actually not terrible, but Volcanic yeah. Axe is, is really good. Oh, we're definitely taking Volcanic Axe on Heiner. Yeah. But Flail to, could right? be fine for Andrin. Um, it's yeah. actually not bad. Yeah. Then, it's let's see. Six, 60 gold is also nice. Um, yeah, there's an argument for Lava Crystal on Heiner, too. Or, sorry, not Heiner. Uh, uh, Cornelius. Because it gives him extra fire. It gives him extra Lava powerful. Crystal. Yeah, Lava Crystal and Cornelius. Doesn't give him more fire, does it? Yeah. You suffer one fire. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, you suffer more fire, but that's good because of Fiery Shield. Uh, I'm going to get rid of... I, I think 60 gold is just straight up better. Oh my god. Also, if we get... Oh my god. we get an amulet... What? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? No, so, what yeah, what do just... we need an amulet for? He's got Cloak of Speed. <laughs> yeah. 
what if we get energized amulet or like aquamarine or something um, i think one thing's for sure nezglex's not getting he, anything because he's gonna suffer like nine burn um so if we ever do that's have fine. a round two that's fine he has enough block okay <laughs> uh, yeah. um and then volcanic axe right. for sure volcanic axe yeah <laughs> um, it's just you know if we ever needed his damage if it was ever a thing this is a 15 percent. he has no base damage this is a 15 percent. this is like <laughs> like four more damage on card that i'll never play <laughs> I, I, I want I want sixty gold. All right, all right, all right fine. <laughs> and then um, flail, just because of uh, rupture, you think? Yeah, I think um, flail because of rupture. It also um, something that's really really good is taking a. Uh... Aren't we? Aren't we're about to get Asmodee. Um I guess it's a tempo. It would be a tempo play because rupture comes out as soon as we corrupt Asmodi. Yeah, what this lets us do is it lets us take a uh, upgraded slice. <laughs> yeah, it's really Which really good for marking because... out the full bosses. Like it, okay. like one upgraded slice, because um, it's just a free card, right? It's a free card that draws us a card, and okay. it applies uh, it. with Wild Hunt out. It ends up applying nine mark, but it'll apply even more than that once we have the plus three mark. So eight, I'm sold. Yeah, <laughs> going to green. And selling GA on strike is one of my proudest achievements, honestly. Uh, here, I'm going to skip straight to town. Feel free to pause to look at our decks. These are the items we got. We want Warrior's Code, but we need to spend our money on removing cards, so we, I don't think we get anything here. Uh, I can check back later if we're wrong. Um, here are the decks. Feel free to pause. Nothing here is too challenging, so I'll show you only the most interesting fights and skip most of the others, like this one. It's, it's... I'm, we're fucking, I'm trying this. We're trying right, it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We can we can see if we can master the hatch. It's so much better if, content if we do, right? <laughs> yeah. And master the hatch we do. Honestly, it wasn't too bad. Nesglek did draw his hatch, but we were able to detoxify it. We do get another carnage here, which is a huge pickup that's going to up Piner's damage quite a bit. Uh, here we remove it at a punch. Uh, these free card removals was actually really nice because Heiner needed to remove some stuff and we didn't have enough gold, um, which is why we didn't buy any of the items previously either. Uh, <laughs> so fixing our deck a little bit like that is very nice. In theory, it's not going to be too useful in the short term, but it'll be great in the long term. I'd take a beer mug here because beer mug is actually going to give me more fury. Uh, the powerful doesn't matter too much. I am able to upgrade Enrage on a fight. We train up Asmodee so we provide too slow to everybody. Oculi will help us get through some uh, Hexproof potentially. And yeah, going through a lot of the changes really fast here. We get to take a FUD route, but we don't really get anything good out of this shop, even though we get to sell the Emerald. We get the money, which is, I guess, nice. Uh, we succeed at not breaking our bones, finished off another Pyromancer, get no meaningful card rewards, and then we get to the Hydra, which GA has an opinion on. My personal opinion is that we should give them insulate. Um, <laughs> because... <laughs> why, why are you laughing? You, you, you want to make this harder on us? Yeah, yeah. I think we can absolutely destroy these guys. Alright, so, alright. <sighs> let's do it. <laughs> so we can either try to rest or we can stand in front of arrogance this head has lightning shaped horns. i i mean i think standing in front of arrogance is the perfect way to give them insulate yeah. on a all fire run <laughs> I, I feel like arrogance is uh what we got now <laughs> yeah oh man oh yeah they don't have that much resistance to start with the bad guy is actually fairly resistant okay you see that now corn dogs first. You see that? Yeah. Corn yeah. is twenty one. He's twenty one. Perfect. And the the this fucking guy taunts himself, so we have to um we obviously have to expert tracker. Uh, I'm not gonna wild hunt just because I, I wanna show you how much damage it does without the Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just don't, just don't need it. Alright, alright. I love it. I love your confidence in this. 
close. I don't think it'll be close. I, you know what? I think you're right, and I, I love it. This is so good. <laughs> I'm not gonna play detection either. <laughs> I'm fine with uproot. Uproot's fine. Oh, oh, okay. Uproot's though. Okay, well. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I'll, I'll play good cards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you take that back. Need, Detection's amazing. I don't need that. We don't? Okay. We just really, 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 really. Because really, the back guy really has the highest HP. But I guess his fire resist is getting lowered. We absolutely need to hit. Um, Shock Nova. Shock Nova. Yeah. So, things like this. Yeah. Um, Sounds right. So. Don't need infuriate. Don't need infuriate. Repetition, don't need. Oh, don't punch, need don't need. Yeah, all these can go, right? Yeah, Infuriate's actually not... Let's get rid of it. We don't need it, right? Okay, fine. Yeah, doubles, <laughs> doubles kind of sucks. Yeah, triple's really good. Then... I guess I can... Trace um, one, one more time. There oh, it is, Shock Nova. Nova. We fucking won the game. <laughs> As if we weren't going to draw Shock Nova. As if Cornelius hasn't gone through his entire deck every time. <laughs> okay, so... Speed up Heiner, like this. Yeah. We speed up, um... I don't know, whoever. Sandrin, yeah, make sure. Make sure he's faster. It's important. Yeah. And I think we actually, um... Could have kept the other scroll of intellect. Yeah. That I that I ditched. Or we could have kept Hellflame too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. All right. Hopefully, uh, Nez can yeah. pop off. Uh, let's not do Night Terror. So we'll shuffle. We'll expect it prophecy that way. So I'm fine <laughs> if you want to start with the draw. Start with a draw. Uh, Start with expected. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then put uh, Night Terror. We're gonna on draw top. It again. Yeah. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> um, we should have uh, fanaticism first. Um, yeah. That's fine. We can fanaticism now. That's good. Oh, we already took some damage. Can we fanaticism? Oh, we can. <laughs> <laughs> we can. Yeah, that's amazing. We can barely fanaticism. <laughs> oh man. Killed it. Okay. Should I've checked the combat stats. Yeah, still zero. Oh, stats. You know what? That's the purple. Uh, that's the purple amulet slurring <laughs> coming with clutch. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think we can. Um. Probably delay. Um. But no, we can't. No, we, we can't can delay. Scry Heiner, right? Yeah, we scry Heiner. This looks good. <laughs> that looks really. We do need to hit whirlwind in the top. Uh, I would almost put a bluff down or something like that. Bluff down, okay. Yeah, okay, keep carnage. Okay, keep the carnage. Yeah. Um, um, expected? Yeah, expected. You could, you could maybe, um, yeah, expected fine, I think. Okay. We got the heat surge, it's fun. Go to the clarity. The clarity, yeah. I guess we don't need the detox either. <laughs> I guess detox the, is no, detox kind of, is fine. Detox, detox is good, yeah. Yeah, because buffer is, buff is not the worst, right? Okay, so you can need detox a delay. Um, I think I need to scry myself. Yeah, you do. Okay. Get rid of that clarity. Just get rid of clarity, yeah. Yeah. And then we detox, delay. Yeah. We and can you can do, do, do two delays. Yeah. yeah, double delay. And then uh, expected prophecy. Put the, put the Night Terror back. Um, Expected prophecy for the night terror on the bottom, sure. Yeah, I yeah. just want to. I just want to see. So yeah, <laughs> fated. So yeah, we need fated. We need the other delay, so we need banish. 
I guess, should I scry first? Or do I just banish first? Sure, I scry first, you might as well. Why scry first? Perfect, yeah. We That's need good. that? Okay. Yeah, we really want to see a whirlwind in the top. Yep, need whirlwind. There's whirlwind. But we don't have fusion yeah. laser. So, punches? Yeah. Okay. You can leave one one punch, I guess. I don't know if it'll be... I don't think it'll be that close, but... Okay. Um, uh, yeah, we can yes. leave one punch. Yeah, I we guess... have draw. We have enrage. That's right. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Um, then I and then, delay. Uh, one delay. Yeah, yeah, one delay for the draw. And then... Get a, a paltry sad, small amount blessed this time. Yeah. Sad divine power. Only eight. Back to the early days. Of course, the taunt always hits this guy. So, okay. All right. Fusion lasers in the deck. So, we start with. Uh, bluff. Um, I guess uh, bluff is probably what we're, where we're starting. Yeah, that makes sense to me. And then we. Um, I don't hate. Um, improved. Like a heat, an improved or a heat. Yeah. Yeah, let's improve. Both, both fine. I guess. Yeah. Oh, I guess heat laser. Let's heat, see. Because okay, improved will do yeah, more. Yeah, improved is going to do more later, so let's do yeah. heat laser now. Yeah. Yeah. Now enrage. Now we enrage, yep. Now we have fusion laser, okay. Right, now we're talking. Yeah. Fusion so laser. Fusion. And then ground slam. Ground slam. Yep. Maximum vulnerable. Then yeah. improved. Then. Or. Yeah, improve first, right? <laughs> I think improve first, yep. Yeah. And then Whirlwind. It's a little bit... Alright, let me... Carnage. Maybe, maybe Carnage. Maybe Carnage here seems a little good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had so much extra damage. We could have done even more damage. That's what's nuts about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, right. that's why I said I don't want us to Night Terror, I don't want us to Mark, mm -hmm. I don't want us to do that, <laughs> like, just watch what's gonna happen. We could have done so much more damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so stupid. Oh, it's so uh, glorious. Oh, yeah, it's good. yeah, there you go, that's that's what we came here to do. <laughs> the run is a success. Mm, that feels good. Jesus Christ. All right, yeah, what do we get just, here? Let me check the combat stats. Damage taken. Zero. Combat stats after the Hydra fight. Zero damage taken. Like who's done that? <laughs> yeah, I don't think many people are. I'm gonna add repost. I, I'm gonna level up. I haven't leveled up Andrian or Cornelius yet because the cards are shit. So. <laughs> right, level up. I can't believe you're calling Walden Flames bad. It is so shit. It's so. <laughs> we got Continuum Blade. Let's go. Nice. On that note, I do convince him to take the Continuum Blade on Andrin, even though he really wants the 60 gold. <laughs> I make him see reason and that the strikes are worth it. <laughs> no, uh, all joking aside, we move on to Act 4. We're not expecting any major hurdles uh, towards the end of the game. Everything feels pretty good. We pick up a Dimensional Crystal on Cornelius just in case we want to apply more fire with some spells. Make sure to upgrade our Repetition Training. We make sure we get rid of our punches in Heiner's deck. Um, we also want to upgrade our delay response. So yeah, we buy a second repetition training in Heiner's deck. We get rid of a loss of our punches. You can pause here if you want to see the decks as they come up. Um, nothing too much more to say about that until we get into our fights, really. Uh, most of the fights here I'm going to be skipping past because they're really kind of basic. Uh, it's a lot of what you've been seeing us do in the boss fights the entire run, only a little bit more destructive. We get a free upgrade, which is nice for Infuriate. Um, nobody else really has good upgrade targets at this point. It's really only Heiner. We pick up an evocation on Cornelius, even though he doesn't need it. Uh, reading the books in the top end there does give us our level up. Heiner gets one more energy, only one more energy because we're not playing any other rounds. <laughs> and uh, Andrew gets Mark three. Nez gets plus two Inspire. We do end up doing a Melancholy here against the uh, powered up Igneto, but they stood no chance. And now I'll show you the entirety of the twins. Just double checking. Still haven't taken any damage. In case any. <laughs> In case we're wondering. Oh yeah, let's go check. Uh, this is good, we don't even need to speed anyone up. Oh yeah, they're slow because of the Asmodee. So. Oh, the wild hand's so far away. 
distancia. Ya. Yeah. So uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, what are we even doing? I love that it's spreading the mark evenly, you know? That's how you know the game wanted us to win this run. Look at that. You couldn't have spread it more evenly. Um... I'm not sure we even need, uh... I like all this stuff. Yeah. I'm not sure we even need Infuriates, uh... Or Repetition Training is probably unnecessary. I don't know. Yeah, we probably get rid of the Bluff and I like all of it. No, we keep the Bluff, we keep the Bluff. Because it's all draw, we just want Fusion Laser. We'll scry more. I don't think we need Replenish. <laughs> Cornelius is actually going to do some damage this turn. It's going to be kind of funny. Look at that. <laughs> He's contributing. Scorching Ray is decent. Scorching Ray is pretty good, yeah. It's a lot of lowered resistances. I missed out on health flame. Yeah. That's okay though. <laughs> the fire shield's a lot of damage too. Is it more uh, than a, a transmission high now, right? And then equivalent exchange. Well, I, no, a transmission has. An equivalent exchange China. I think it's more damage like this. Probably. Alrighty. I can fade future scry first. yourself first. Yeah, fade future and then scry yourself. Yeah, then scry, yeah. Because we're going to draw whatever we want the expected, I guess. Maybe we don't want detox. Or do we? No. Don't need. I guess we don't need banish don't. either. We don't need banish really. And we don't need Dita delay, because we only need to delay twice, and we've got two in our hand already, so delay is unnecessary. Yeah, you're right. Right, I gotta remember, Heiner so has an can, extra energy. Yeah, this is, <laughs> yeah. So just the yeah. uh, expected. Then we put a scry on top, doesn't matter. So we're gonna expect it again. Yeah, scry yourself. Or... Oh, yeah. We, we draw yeah. through our whole deck. So. Expected back. Yep. Nice. Um, then we nah. have fanaticism. Yep, yeah. it's two energy, so we're good. We do the detox so that we can delay. Delay. And then we can scry. Uh, Night Terror, the first guy. Yeah. Uh, am I getting rid of Ground Slime or are I keeping it? I do like it. Uh, well, no, we can get rid of it. Yeah, get rid of it. Yeah. Okay. And then we Night Terror is the first guy. Night Terror the first guy, yeah. Yeah. And then I can Scry again, just Mine, this no. as well. Fine, right. Get rid of the Repa? Right? I think it's fine. We're gonna have... It's fine. Is it fine? Yeah, we keep it. Okay. Yeah, we, we yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we have enough draw. You're right, you're right. We have a million draw. We have, yeah, we have all... That's, that's what our deck does at this point. Alright, 10 power, divine... Or 10 cost, divine power. Maximum efficiency, 20 bless. 153. <laughs> <laughs> That's our pet. That's just our pet. <laughs> Fusion, Fusion's on the top, so uh, if you want to bluff into it. Okay, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll bluff. Let's try not to kill him before we get it. Yeah, so do, do I fusion now? Yeah. Okay. What do I fusion into? Uh, enrage? Rage. <laughs> <laughs> then um, maybe... Uh, Maybe bluff into improved? Yeah, bluff into improved into infuriate. Yeah, into improved. Now infuriate. Into infuriate, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> we're not even gonna whirlwind. We're just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> that so dumb. Oh, uh, it's so good. Ah. Uh... I don't need another one of those. We don't, we don't need have have anything. Look at that purple black hole. I'd love to see you on a dark run. Uh. Don't need anything. I don't know why I'm looking. I'm just like looking at all the shinies. Do you ever get caught like looking at the shinies in card games? <laughs> just... yeah, yeah, yeah. I get caught all the time. <laughs> I could definitely say without a doubt this is the most dominant run I've played. At, at this well, point. I mean, at, this point. <laughs> at, the, at the end. Yeah, yeah at the end. Well, 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 like, oh, <laughs> Sapphire, Sapphire Ring on Nez is sick. On Nez? No, we're, no we put it on uh, Cornelius. Yeah, yeah, yeah Cornelius. Because yeah, Cornelius. we, we have... Um, yeah. 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 Uh, that's pretty Because we have uh, exchange. We have a couple of exchange, so it just goes, always goes with Cornelius. Right? Yeah. Man. There are times when Mountain King's amazing. God, I love that beer mug is just better than everything else here. Yeah. I wonder, uh, do you just take 48... Eight, no, we can take money, just in case we run into a shop. So let's get Sapphire Ring on... Uh, uh, yeah, Sapphire Ring on Cornelius. That's so good. Yeah. After that, I'll just show you our upgrades here. We upgrade Carnage on Heiner because we had the shards. We upgrade the second Carnage as well. We get a Demonic Tutor on Nezglect. And we upgrade, or we get rid of a delay response because we no longer need it in Nazgulax deck. Uh, everything else you can see in Cornelius' deck there. We decide to take on a final hatch challenge as well. So, uh, yeah, was that two or three hatches down? I think it was two is what we landed on. Uh, as you can see, we have more than enough damage. We get a final enrage on Heiner as well. We got a shop here. Uh, Andrin's able to take a nullifier, remove ground slam, which we weren't able to remove before, and then we face the final boss. Uh, cool. Who, who, who does, I guess Heiner deserves this, right? Yeah, definitely. He's got to protect his friends. He's got to rescue the princess. We protected our friends real well, with taking zero damage. Slow him down. Mm -hmm. These scrolls of speed were important. Yeah, they, we do need they're them. They're actually good. Yeah. yeah. Wild hunt. Wild nice. Hunt first turn. Straight off the bat. Good. I don't even need chant of initiative, right? No, we don't. Just saves us on a scroll of speed, but we're good. Slice always draws. And he's at 46 mark. <laughs> at which point, I guess... Oh, we don't even have up right yet because we don't need it. Cool. I mean, Andrew so, can do more damage, but we're done. <laughs> so. <laughs> I, think, I think we... Um... So here's this trap with yeah. uh, Heiner. We need cards. We're gonna put. We're gonna put literally everything. None. We. Oh, we need to put everything away, right? Yeah, I think we put pretty much everything away. Uh, because he has, he has five cards that draw. His five card draw. Right. Um, so we actually want the. No, no. Keep enrage. Keep fusion laser, and then everything else goes in the bin. Okay. Yeah, like that. Sounds good. And we'll um. I'm gonna trace him again, actually. Yeah. So the great. Keep, keep going. Okay. And then put uh, bluff. Yeah, put that, those away. Um, and we need to get rid of one more card, but we can do that with a scry. Yeah, and then scry. Yeah, it's just one more card in the bin, and then we'll chain through the deck. Yeah. Um. Probably enough, right? It's like a. Yeah, it's pretty likely that we, <laughs> if we get messed up here, that'd be really funny, but I don't think we do. I think we're... I don't even need to see vacation that badly, really. We well, might, I'll, we might I'll as well find... keep it, right? Like, it's it's not gonna do any harm. We're gonna do a lot of burn. Wait, oh, hey, we found the Scorching Ray. Oh, help, perfect, help yeah. Play. Scorching Ray, hell, Hellfire combo. One bookworm gets the others. Oh, well, that's fine. It always gets a scroll no, intellect. Fine. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Double 
Well, Scorching actually does a good amount of damage to you. Yeah. He'll be on full, full fire. Full fire, yeah. Max fire. So at 29% resistance. Cool. Negative 29% resistance, <laughs> I should say. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at Cornelius. Taking off a casual thousand damage by himself. Well, plus the mark, of course, but... <laughs> this isn't even going to be close. All right. Okay. Yeah, we don't We don't even want to banish... Um, yeah, we just scry. The detox is actually... Yeah, detox yeah. better. Scry. I scry myself yeah. first, right? Scry yourself first, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we don't need banish. Don't need banish. Uh, we like Faded Future. We like all these cards. We don't even need uh, oh, we don't delay, need the, right? the delay, yeah. Probably. Yeah. We do not need it, yeah. Okay. And then we can expect it. We can get the Fanaticism afterwards. I can put this expected on top. Uh, we can Fanaticism... No, not now, we can't. Oh, hold we on, hold Faded Future. Yeah, yeah. yeah Faded Future, Fanaticism. Then expected, put Divine Power back, Demonic Tutor it. Yeah. So expected, expected uh, find divine power goes divine back. power back on the top. Yep. Yeah. Demonic tutor. Demonic tutor, our one card. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. And uh, detox delay. Detox delay for sure. Gives us like the terror. energy. Yeah. We yeah, need we to scry, need to scry once. Hina. Yeah. We need to get rid of a yeah. on bluff. bluff. Yep. Because we want yeah, whirlwind. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Exactly. Um, okay, yeah. we Night Terror. Night Terror, Divine Power. Divine Power. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, for 9. 24. Woo. I think we're gonna kill him. <laughs> Should be fine. There goes our pets. Okay. Uh, the question is how? Um... <laughs> Well, however you'd like, sir. It's your, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. your turn. There's, yeah, okay. We're totally killing him either way, but we'll fusion yeah. laser. I guess we enrage. Yeah, you almost could carnage. Uh, enrage, then carnage, maybe. Just because the fusion yeah. laser... We, we want him to get a lot vulnerable. Right, yeah. And he's like... not going to get... Yeah, well, you could whirlwind, you know. You could whirlwind for free just to... Get the fury. Get a bunch of fury. Yeah, yeah. and then we could fury, or infuriate. Uh, well, you want to. You want no. You want to enrage before you infuriate. Oh yeah, so you're right. Before you, before you do that, we should carnage. I think we carnage him once. Carnage him once. And okay. then, um, yeah. Yeah. Just you know, I'm sure it's gonna matter, but. <laughs> and uh, enrage. Then enrage. Oh, we can't. We fine. can't. It's fine. I mean, you, we're gonna absolutely murder this guy. <laughs> But we don't get him to max vulnerable. <laughs> then we infuriate. Yeah. All right, that's gonna be a lot of damage. I'll go and prove. Yes. Because getting any base damage right now is gonna make us do even more. We can bluff a couple of times. Yeah. Can almost kill him with bluffs. I mean, Carnage kills him right now. Uh, oh, we can repetition training our Carnage, and then play then this Carnage cast twice more. Three of them. We're not going to be able to, but we could. <laughs> uh, yeah. he, has, he has a lot of fire resist as well. He does, yeah. I, mean, I was surprised he wasn't negative 95. This guy doesn't have any fire resist, so... I mean, not as much. He has a lot of fire resist, but that's just a lot of resistance in general. Zero damage taken. Oh, man. I also want to say thank you for keeping the wild hunt the whole time. I know it's not your favorite, but <laughs> I, I it's do. Been good. I do like seeing the just, big damage numbers. <laughs> at the yeah. end here. I feel like we would win. We without would win. It is my only point. We would. Like, we this, would. For sure. And I care. I care more about the consistency in the. Um, yeah. In the early game, it it does suck for yeah. the consistency. In the late game, we're obviously not having any problems, but that's the late game. Which generally you don't have as many problems anyway.
That does it. <laughs> so uh, same same thing, right? I think rid of heat bluffs. we we don't even we don't even need infuriate, right? We want to just have enrage. Okay. We'll draw into infuriate if that makes sense. Yeah. It's like the one time we might actually need the damage. Cool. 50 mark. Perfect. Just at 50. This is going to be so good. <laughs> we draw everything here, right? Yeah, we do. We are, we're always drawing. Oh, the double scorching. Nice, nice. Yep, he's going to be up to 200. Minus 62%. Pretty nice. Nice. All right. And with Cornelius giving us that lovely turn. Oh, wow. Got up to the 10 energy. That's a little awkward. Um, Scry first. I could fade in future first. I think it's a little bit safer. Yeah. And Scry first. Uh, Lots of Scry's are going to be good here. Um, we only need one more, I think. Yeah. So I think I'll just give it to someone. Sure. I don't. We're never gonna need banish. It don't matter. Yeah, we don't need banish because we just have the detox, right? Yeah. Go. And then what's left in our deck? You wanna ex you wanna, you wanna uh, divine expected power the yeah. divine power back on top of the deck? Yeah. Yeah. My power, so that we can demonic it. I guess we we can play banish or we can play expected. It doesn't make a difference either way. So um. we can fanaticism. We have eight, yeah. and then yeah, it's functionally. There's functionally. Yeah, it's the functionally same, the same, so, uh, so. It's up to you. Yeah, I'll scry first, of course, and then we'll we have good. We have four wins. Repetition. Get rid of re repetition. Get rid of repetition and bluff. Yep, and that's perfect. Yeah. We'll be at nine. So we're just gonna we're gonna yeah. we'll draw everything. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and, uh, and then we banish. Yeah. It's the same functionally. Yeah. Banish, but we leave everything in, right? Yeah. Sorry, being functionally the same. No, it's better. Banish is actually just better. better. Banish is better, yeah, because yeah. it's because it it's more buffer, um, so we don't get the insane. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So we're good. Yeah, we just leave everything. And then and we then delay. 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 We don't even need the second delay, but oh, you're fine. Right. You can, it, we don't need it because no, we don't need we it. Don't yeah, need we it don't want it. Yeah, yeah, we don't want it. Go up to nine so here. Now night terror. Yeah, and night terror it. him. Cool. And we're gonna we're gonna have more than enough damage. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Um. Gosh, this is so awkward. I honestly think it's Fusion Carnage to... Fusion Carnage to start? Okay. Begin with, yeah. You know what? Just because it gives us so much vulnerable. It does, yeah. Gives us the three. Um, and then we have the... Enrage here. Yeah. Now bluff a couple of times. Bluff a couple of times, okay. Is there a reason? <laughs> <laughs> I like I like playing bluff. Bluff is good. I guess we can we can rage now. Rage if you want, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna be up to a decent amount of honorable. And one more bluff. Got the bluff. Oh, perfect. I'm glad we drew the bluff there. Now we will win. 
Infuriate, well right? Yeah, or, or, well, yeah we well-wind Infuriate. Well-wind Infuriate, that's the most damage, I think. Yeah, the higher the damage numbers, the better, of course. Yeah. Uh, then we Infuriate, for sure. Now, um, one bit that Improved before you go more. Heat Laser... No, well, hold on, hold oh. on, hold on. What? Before yeah. you do that, we can... How many times can we Carnage? Um... It's, we could Carnage. <laughs> I guess it it's fine. Yeah, we can improve heat laser. Yeah, the only reason that I want to improve heat laser is to have those higher damage numbers like show up on the boss. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's no other reason than that. <laughs> Just so. so you might as well heat laser as well then. Yeah, I think cool. so. Yeah, and then you can repetition training one of the the yeah, carnage back, right? Yeah. 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 Then we can, just right, play then this we can three see times. what this does. 684, 684. That's what I'm talking about. He's got negative 95 resist. This this is how we end it. We're gonna have a carnage to spare. You need to have the combat stats uh, screenshot. Oh, uh, of course, so, yeah. So I can't believe we just did that. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> no damage run complete. Oh, only oh it's not quite. Oh, not quite. Yeah, it's not uh, quite. We didn't, uh, take, enough yeah. we didn't take enough corruptors. Yeah. Uh, didn't take enough corruptors. That is, um, that's fucking impressive. I'm going to take a screenshot of that and save that down. That is, that is a game. We got, let me look at the combat stats here. Zero damage taken. 75,943 damage dealt by our boy Heiner. Some of it was actually burned too because we couldn't kill them all turn one sometimes, <laughs> but it worked out. Yeah, the reacted laser was uh, clutch a couple yeah. of times there. Got the beer mug, the can of cacks. Oh my god. The fountain was pen was so good. That was such a. Fountain pen was amazing, yeah, that was clutch. Our items, around. everything came together. By the end, it was such a well oiled machine. Oh yeah, it, we, we had no problems. The purple Asmodi, of course, was very nice. Yeah, that was good planning. Like we planned this from we, the start, right? We did. Uh, yeah. Very, very well executed. Yeah. What a what a run. This was fantastic. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I'm mentally exhausted. Oh yeah. No, but thank you so much for playing this with me. This is great. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Uh, it was funny how it just me and Mantastic were kind of posting lower and lower damage received numbers and then it's funny how this kind of was borne out but I was like, is it is it possible <laughs> then suddenly classic well, trash trash comps is like okay let's do it <laughs> my, my favorite thing is that you're like you know what it's totally possible but it'd be too easy if we avoided the dryad and Hy hydra so we gotta go there <laughs> that's my favorite part you're just like it'd be too easy otherwise <laughs> yeah you have to you have to flex on the Hydra, the Forge, the Forge, the reactive laser of the Forge boss, and the Hydra, and still take no damage. That is such a flex. I, I, yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I, if I was doing this alone, like if I was attempting this challenge, I would have been going the Sylvie route. I would have been avoiding the Hydra and the Dryad, and I would have just hoped to win that way. Nah, we didn't, we didn't come here to. No, we didn't. We didn't come here to mess around. Mess here. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh, that was beautiful. Well, thank you very much. It was great. Same. Good to play with you. If you have any other ideas, uh, let me know. Um, I'd be down to. I, I just enjoyed the <laughs> brainstorming process. With yeah. Someone else. And no, it's it, good. It's great. I have a lot of fun things I'm going to be doing coming up. I got. You're going to love this one. I have the take every card and don't remove any cards challenge coming up. So, oh yeah, I saw. Um, oh, take every card. Take got every got card. It. Don't remove any. So oh it's going to be God. the opposite of a well-oiled machine. It's going to be torture. <laughs> oh, wow. That sounds brutal. On M16. On Madness 16, yeah. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed this style of video. It's a bit different from what I've done in the past. I had a really good time playing with GA, if you couldn't tell. And hopefully we'll do more stuff in the future. But until then, I hope you have a great day or night, wherever you are. And if you could leave a like, it really helps out. Or not. No pressure. <laughs>